Today we're going to take a look on how to create a 2D slide system. So this is how it's going to be look like in the end of the video. I can move left and right and when I press left shift I can slide. Okay, so just before we begin, I wanted to say that there is a few ways to implement this feature. And I decided to take one of the most easiest ways, just to make sure that this video shouldn't be that long. So okay, let's begin. Right now in my scene I have my main camera, map, ground, with a box collider 2D and a player. Graphics and the scripts are in the description below. So sure, let's get started. Um, let's attach our player move code from the link in the description and attach the current variables we need. So at the moment we don't have an animator. Let me just go ahead and click on animation and I'm gonna drag for my left monitor and let me just minimize the window. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. I'm gonna set into assets and animations. I'm gonna say idle and I'm gonna make it about 2-2 two, two. and drag the idle sprites animations into the animation component or window and let's see how it looks. Awesome, it looks good. Let's go ahead and create a new clip. I'm gonna be calling it run. Let's click on the button just to see how it looks. Drag our graphics into the animation window. Make it again 22 I think. Yep, that looks awesome. We can disable this at the moment. Um, okay, let's create another one which is gonna be the slide one. So the slide, we only, from my sprites, I only need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 10. I don't need any more than 10. And if you downloaded the sprite pack, then you're going to see that there is, I think, like 5 more frames, which I recommend not to use. Use only 10. So I'm just going to drag it. And again, I think it's going to be 22. And sure, it looks fine. Okay. Just go ahead to animations and to slide and make sure to disable the loop time. Okay, so now we can actually drag the animator. Go ahead and open the animator window. And we have all of our animations here. So from idle we can run. Let's make a transaction and uh, make a transaction from run to idle. We're gonna make from any state to slide. And from slide to idle. Okay, now let's create a few billions. First billion is gonna be is slide. Second billion is gonna be is moving. If from the any state transaction to slide, I'm gonna go ahead and say is slide equals to truth. When he needs to come back, when it's equals to false. And no, we don't need an exit time. This is very important, just disable it. Okay, so from the run transaction, you're gonna do the same thing, only from the is moving boolean. So it is truth when need. And it is false. And again, you're gonna wanna disable the as exit time. Okay, so my bad. We're just gonna have to change this name to is move because for our player movement code we are calling to is move string so awesome let's go ahead and run our game also in my project i use gravity scale of six it's a bit high but i want to have a really sharp movement so i'm gonna go ahead and run the game if i press right i can move if i press a I can move but it seems to have a slight delay so we don't want an exit time I forgot to remove that let me go ahead and remove it and now it should be work pretty good no delay which is awesome okay so our player can move now left and right which is awesome go to player slide create an ad uh, just gonna have there you go you're gonna double click on it to open Awesome. So let's remove all of the start code. 
and then start creating a few variables. So the first one is going to be public player move, which is our player movement script. And we're going to call it just PL. Another public rigid body 2D, which I'm going to be call it rigid body public animator anim and two more I think box collider 2d for regular collider and the second one for a slide collider and of course I forgot about the slide speed which by default is gonna be equals to 5 um, awesome so private void update if input dot get key that key down and key code that I'm gonna make as a left shift and then perform this is how you say perform yeah I think so slide so perform slide and another public void perform slide which is not the same so okay awesome so I forgot I think about something let me just go ahead and oh yeah I forgot about the billion of public billion is sliding so it by default equals to false you don't actually have to do that just nice to see from the code so okay so if we're performing a slide is sliding equals to truth and if that set billion is actually set to truth also so is slide i think this is the way we called it let's just make sure that's fine and regular collision dot enabled equals to false which is disabling basically our regular collision and our slide collision dot enabled equals to truth awesome so now we need to check basically in which direction we are facing so if we're gonna now need to access our player code so pl dot sprite dot flip x so basically if our uh, sprite renderer uh, let me show you if our sprite renderer flip is equals to false so if it's false it means that the player face right if it's truth then it's left also let me just go back to the code and let's say rigid body dot add force okay <laughs> that was fast and vector 2 dot right equals by our slide speed awesome now you're just gonna say else which basically says if this is now equals to to 12 then we are facing to the left so I'm just gonna change it to left awesome now we're gonna have to start a routine basically tell us when uh, to stop sliding basically stop sliding animation also so I'm going to stop slide and stop slide again you gonna want to say you can actually create a timer but I'm not gonna be using a timer at the moment let's do something like 0 0.8 float of course and let's say a name dot play which is gonna immediately play our idle animation so awesome and set our billion of our sliding system sliding animation to false and we let me just copy those two and paste it down here this should be set to truth and this should be set to false 
and a sliding equals to false. We have finished sliding, then a sliding boolean is false. Awesome, so basically what we do here, when we press left shift, then we perform a slide. Is slide boolean equals to truth, animation of slide is truth again, regular collision is disabled, slide collision is enabled, checks the player direction, and start a routine. Nice. So let me just go ahead and save it. Let's see that everything looks fine. Okay, now let's drag all of the components as you can see. You can just drag the player and it's automatically gonna take the components it needs. So we don't have the slide collision yet. So let's go ahead and open our scene. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a sprite as a child and I'm gonna be calling it, um, let's see, slide.collider. So now let me just grab one of the slide animations, I think something like this. Awesome. Let me just go ahead and make it a little bit down, I think. I'm gonna do it later. So I did a box collider. Great. Now I think the X <coughs> should be around this size. And the Y should be around this size. And this should be good. Sure, it looks good. Now all we're gonna need to do is disable our box collider and our sprite renderer. The sprite renderer is actually for me as a developer just to see how it looks from behind the scenes. So our slide collider object will be always on at the moment at least. We're gonna drag the slide collider box. And yep, the slide speed, I really don't think it's gonna be enough because we are using, I'm using a gravity scale of six. So I'm thinking like something as, okay, let's run our game. So I'm moving, I'm moving and pressing shift. Nice. So I think it looks good, isn't it? Awesome, it looks good, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, so this is how you basically create a very basic slide system. So, yep, I think that's about it. Let me guys know how it's been. My first tutorial, um, quite stressful. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you guys for subscribing. It would be awesome if you didn't subscribe to click on the subscribe button. It just shows me that someone watches my video. Yep, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.